All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. But drop it in for my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Look, man, take a moment to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. Never know who is going to who is gonna play. The boy still, when love, respect, bless up. Anyway, man, take some time to like the video, share the video, all of that good stuff, man. It helps the channel out. I don't ask you guys to do that enough, and it doesn't happen enough. And because of that, the channel is suffering. It's not growing the way that I feel like it should, and um, and all of that good stuff, man. So I'm going to have to ask you guys from now on, please like the video and share the video. Help the channel grow. We're trying to get to 100,000 this year. If it doesn't happen, it is what it is. I ain't gonna cry about it, man. I already know. I know that in order to get into the um the grow in the 2K community, either you or somebody in your crew has to go through Ronald and and company. So it is what it is. Nobody in my crew, and I damn sure haven't done that yet. So we'll see if we can grow this thing organically. I, I don't really know anybody that has grown astronomically that has not gone through Ronald and company. Um, and I'm not talking, I'm talking about either directly or indirectly. Either they went through him or somebody in their crew went through him and then they start putting people on. Y'all let me know, man. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. Anyway, man, like I said, man, uh, do that, you know, number one. Number two, go cop yourself one of these, man. Shooter shoot, man. The shooter shoot shooting shirts. Um, yo, these joints fine, man. You know, we're gonna drop the price on them. Some people, a couple people already bought a couple of them already, man. Um, that's dope. That's dope of you guys to keep on. The supply line is back up. Uh, so if you order something this week, it should be shipped out before the end of the week instead of us having to to order from all across the country and, and, and then we hope that it gets here before three weeks have passed, three, four weeks have passed. And then, you know, at, at that point in time, you know, like it, it just is what it is. I hate that that happened, but everybody knows the, the stuff that we're going through with, with, with the whole, with the whole, um, COVID-19 thing, man. We know we know how everything got pushed back. Even Amazon some stuff was taking two weeks to get here, and we know that that's not supposed to happen. But anyway, man, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about NBA 2K21 and some of the stuff that we've heard, some of the rumors and all of that stuff. A lot of people are out there, people are up in arms because they're saying that they feel like that we're being had, we're being taken advantage of, and that we should be getting the game on PlayStation 4 slash Xbox One and then PlayStation 5 and Xbox One X for free. It should be part of the uh as a part of the upgrade program. I forgot what Xbox calls their program, but whatever it is, it's like that you buy the game if you buy the game on Xbox One and an addition becomes available for the Xbox Series X, you're gonna get that game for free. It's like a free upgrade. NBA 2K said that's fine, but we're not doing that. Ronald was actually quoted as saying did you want us to be like you know the game is going to be completely different we did two different games so that's why we're not doing it um we're not charging you outright for it but you are going to have to get you, you're going to have to pay a little something you're just going to have to buy the bigger edition in order to get it for free i don't have a problem with that we normally spend two or three hundred dollars on 2k right off the bat anyway but i'm a content creator everybody's situation is not my situation right and uh hey look we even got this tweet right here from uh, NBA 2K21 Intel, it just says, no, the my player experience will be different in NBA 2K21 on the next generation console, but there will be my team cross uh, progression and all that. So they're talking about, this This was just what we were talking about the other day. There's not gonna be any cross progression. You're not gonna be able to bring your player over. You're not gonna be able to do stuff like that. That's fine to me, just because I feel like the only time that this would not be acceptable is if the game isn't totally different, if this game comes out and it's something that's totally different, a completely different game, and, and like, and when I'm saying a completely different, I'm talking about the only thing that's that's it's only similar in name. If it's if we, if this game comes out and it's only similar in name and it's just it's just like how it was, uh, how how it was in NBA two was it two K fourteen where. There was no park on the pre previous gen, but there was park on the next gen, and it was a completely different game. And you know, from beginning to end, you knew what time it was. You was like, yeah, this is a this is a completely different game. I'm okay with this. Last time we had to buy the game twice, if I'm not mistaken, because it was a totally different game. This time, you're not going to have to buy the game twice. You're just paying a hundred dollars one time. You're gonna get 
um, what you get, 100,000 VC on the first console. So if you buy it on the, the on the Xbox One X, if you buy it on the Xbox One, once you buy it on the Xbox One, you're going to get it for free on the on the next edition. But you're not getting charged a, another forty dollars. But somebody said in my comments, they was like, "Hey, but you're not getting it for free. You're getting paid. You're getting it for forty dollars. No, you're not getting it for forty dollars. First off, the game is going to be seventy nine dollars on the Xbox Series X anyway. So if it's going to be, if it's going to be that, you're already saving. Even if you were paying forty dollars for the game, you're already saving. That's why you put perimeter defense on your center right there, chat. But anyway, ooh, look at that. I am the master baiter. The master baiter." Get it up for your boy, man. But anyway, if you play, if you're going to buy it and you're just saying, okay, I'm just being charged 40 bucks. Yes, you are just being charged 40 bucks if you want to look at it like that, but it's still less than 69 or 70 bucks that you would have to pay if you just bought it straight up. Because I know what a lot of people like to do. A lot of us like to do the 2K special. We buy the normal extra regular ass 2K edition. And when we buy that 2K edition, what, what do we do? We spend fifty dollars on VC, so we pay one hundred and ten dollars. We get we get two hundred thousand uh, VC. But in this case, you're spending ninety nine bucks. But you are you are gonna get two hundred thousand VC. It's just gonna be two across two different consoles. And I'm not being a two K apologist. I'm just saying that this actually makes sense to me as a content creator. I am going to buy both editions. I will have both two Ks, and I will be playing both two Ks. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's how I'm gonna do it. So. With that being the case, why would I not take advantage of this deal? If you're not a content creator, I completely understand if you're just gonna wait till the new consoles come out. You don't wanna grind two players. You don't want to, to do more than one thing. You don't, you know, you understand what I'm saying? You don't wanna grind two players. You don't wanna spend money on, on both of them. But in this case, they're trying to make it so that you're spending as little money as possible, at least the way that I see it. But I do understand. Woo, why are you gonna leave me in the corner? Trades up! Splash down. I, I can hear T right now. Damn, he got that meter on. Tell you don't never check your meter. I don't never check my meter. Hey, if T is cooking in this game, hey, put T is cooking down in the chat, man. But what I'm saying is, it seems like a pretty good deal to me. And the reason that it seems like a pretty good deal to me is because if I buy the game, I'm going to buy the game on both systems anyway. The only way I see it not being a good thing is if you're not planning on buying the game on both systems. I'm going to buy the both game on both systems. I'm going to get the game on both systems for for what uh let's let's just do it mathematically right so if i bought the game the regular uh, extra regular ass edition on the, on the one and then uh it's 50 dollars for the vc right so you get 50 dollars worth of vc and the game that's 110 right that's already 110 then i buy the extra regular ass edition on the second console for 69 bucks and then another fit that's 120 and that's two hundred and thirty dollars right there all day. If my math right, I think I got quick math. One one ten and one twenty is two thirty, right? That's how much I weigh. Ooh, look at that one, buff dick tie. But anyway, what I'm saying is, look. Ooh, he found me in the corner. Trades up. Green bean money team splash down. They said that boy fifty. It's like he ain't fifty. But anyway, like I said, that's two hundred and thirty bucks, right? But if I do it the other way, if I do it this way, buy the ninety nine dollar edition, I'm going to get. Uh, you buy the $99 edition. I'm gonna get 100,000 VC on the first on the first game, right? So now I spend 25 bucks or something like that to get 100,000 more VC, right? So now I'm 135 in the hole. When the next edition comes out, I will have a master the trades up three B money team. You too late. Anyway, if um if when the next when the next edition comes out, I pay 99 bucks, right? When the next edition comes out, I, what I'm, I'm one, what I said, I'm, I'm a buck, a buck twenty-five in the hole. Let's say I'm a buck thirty in the hole with tax. When the next edition comes out, I will have amassed enough VC to make my player on the next one. Plus, they're gonna give me a three hundred thousand VC, right? So with all of that, I'm only a buck thirty in the hole max. Maybe a buck fifty. We'll just be generous and say a buck fifty rather than being two thirty in the hole. I don't see how it's not a good deal. I understand 2K does some boisterous things and, and you know, we just don't like what they do in a lot of situations. This just, to me, doesn't appear to be one of them. I think they're actually doing us a solid and you can take the VC across with you. Like to me, man, that's, to me, that's just dope. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. I could be one of those guys that maybe, maybe I'm being a 2K homer or something like that, bro. I don't know. But what I am telling y'all is from, from what I can tell, this is one of the best deals ever. 
Now, if you're, again, if you're not planning on getting both, because a lot of people, let me know down in the comments, are you gonna get both uh, both editions, or are you not planning on getting the, uh, getting the next, look, I'm wide open now. Give me the ball, trays up, break down. Yeah, I probably should've took that meter over. Oh, why you always miss when you get in takeover, bro? I don't understand that. T, T glad I missed anyway so he can cook up. But like I said, man, um, if you're not planning on getting both editions, and I completely understand if you aren't, because like I said, my boy Lakers said, I'm gonna be a Christmas baby this year. As soon as, when the next edition comes out, uh, then that's when I'm gonna get it. I'm a content creator, so anything I make, any character I create, all of that's content for me. It makes sense for me. But if the game comes out in September and then the Xbox, the new Xbox comes out in November, I definitely understand you saying, you know, it's just a month. I'll just wait that month and a half and then I'll get it. Ooh, Fader, Darth Fader in the building, chat. Give me Darth Fader down in the comments. But I do understand what you're saying. If you say that I'm not going to do that because I don't want to spend my money and I really don't plan on spending time grinding both players on both systems. I completely understand that. But if you're going to do it anyway, why not just go ahead, take advantage of everything they're trying to do and give you. It's damn near free VC. It's, you know what I'm saying? And you, like, never before have you been able to grind up the VC on one and then take it to the next character. Like, for me, I'm in a totally different spot. I'm a content creator. I'm gonna be getting the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, and I'll be getting the game for both of them. You understand what I'm saying? So like, I'm trying to be one of the top centers on, on all the consoles. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be considered a top center on a lot of consoles, man. But like I said, I do understand where people are coming from on this, where they're saying that this is kind of a jip, and they're saying that, is it really like because they're saying that the game is going to be totally different, and a lot of people are saying, but is it really? Is it really? Because let's not act like 2K is not beyond saying one thing and doing another. That's why the mascot is Cap. That's why we got Big Cap here. That's why Big Cap always tells you, hey, look, man, we really don't believe a whole lot of stuff that these people say, man, just because of the fact that, you know, we, we don't know. And there's no way to really tell what's going to happen. Do you believe that it's really gonna be two totally different games or do you think it's gonna be so similar that we can't tell the difference? I'm hoping that it's only the same game only in name, but if it's not, this won't be the first time 2K has finessed us and it certainly won't be the last. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, wishing, and I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the positive vibes that this is gonna be a totally different game. I want it to be a totally different game. I want, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think on September 3rd, we're gonna get NBA 2K, 20.5 i think it's going to be largely the same game because just because of the way that the teams work they don't typically hire enough staff to even staff 2k 20 20 or, or you know the, the current gen game so to do two games i just don't see that happening so i think they're just going to rehash 2k 20 that's largely going to be the same game we're going to get a totally different experience on 21 but we better get a totally different experience on 21 because if we come back and we got the same park if we come back and we have the same the same neighborhood, the same type of anything. We need to be in the world at this point. We need to be just like how EA Sports is traveling around the entire continent or, or every continent. You know what I'm saying? We need to have Tassino standing on the sideline when we go to New Zealand, if there's a place like that that they play in New Zealand. All this stuff, we need that stuff, man. We don't need what we've been getting. It needs to be a completely different game. And if it's not, 2K gonna have hell to pay, man. I'm telling you those guys are gonna have, to have hell to pay. That's why I said, they say it's gonna be totally different, but it better be. Anyway, Leo, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Do you think it's gonna be a totally different game? Do you hope that it's gonna be a totally different game? Do you think it's a good deal if it's two totally different games? And are you saying that you don't think it's a good deal because you believe that it's not going to be two totally different games? That's what I wanna know from y'all. Let me know down in the comments, man, and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speed. Ooh, why them thing growing in, ain't they, boy? Yeah, day. Ooh, I fixed that thing up too, boy. Look at, look. Hey, 40 years old, and these bars finally, finally connected. Bars.